Hi guys, my name's Grace. I'm back with another video and today, we've all been waiting for it, um, I'm going to be reacting to um, Jimin's Set Me Free Part 2. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is his like official solo debut. I know he's had like solo songs in the past, but this is his kind of like official, this is him. It's not on a BTS um, album. I'm really, really excited. Um, I'm gonna be... I mean, I'm gonna be reacting to the actual um, song for the first time uh, too. I haven't seen it, all the visuals of the music video and stuff, but I do know I can't avoid so many spoilers on the internet. I can't avoid all of them. I do know it's um, pretty dance focused, so I'm gonna be talking about a lot of dance stuff, I think. And Jimin has um, training in specifically contemporary dance uh which is something i'm trained in it's a style of concert dance um just concert dance meaning it's a dance that happens on a stage for an audience um so he's trained in a couple different styles of those dance like i said contemporary and some ballet so i don't know i'm excited to see what happens I've got the music video here. Let's get going. Let me get some volume. Ooh. Okay, dance already. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. Immediately, it's it's reminding me of um, Hozok's um, arson video. I think it was arson, um, where he's standing still and all the dancers are um, crossing as he's standing completely still and the dancers are the one moving so um it's actually this kind of cool juxtaposition choreography choreographically where um the performer is not actually the person moving at that point but their stillness is what's making them stand out against um this like cacophony and this chaos of movement that's happening around them um just dance wise dancers wise uh some combination between some um concert dance styles like modern contemporary and some hip-hop i mean the the music is drawing upon um like marching band style um music very much like let's see let me listen <laughs> Yeah, with like a hip hop beat. Big brass, big booming bass. Kind of different than what I was expecting from Jimin. Whoa, I know what his voice sounds like, but that didn't sound like him to me. This is really, really unexpected. Um, he sounded like um, G-Dragon there with that kind of like nasally tone. Oh. Sorry. Fuck on your what? What did he just say? <laughs> on your ops? Is that what he just said? Who's the ops, Jimin? Tell me. The use of dancers is really masterful in this. And you can tell they choreographed this dance with um, not only camera in mind. So like you choreograph um, for different mediums 
differently. So if you're choreographing for the camera, you're thinking about where the camera is going to be in space and the camera actually kind of becomes its sort of own dancer. It's, it's a choreographed element of the piece. Um, whereas like if you're kind of working on a proscenium stage, you have one front. Um, and the choreography gives me the impression that it has both in mind. These like, um, these shots from overhead are not going to look the, the formations that, um, are done with that camera in mind will not look the same for a proscenium stage. Um, but there's also a lot of frontal movement going on. Yeah, like this is very frontal. Cool. I like I like songs like this, like big epic songs. He looks great too. Choreographically that's cool where I was gonna say he is kind of continuing that sort of um, his stillness, um, which you know is kind of unusual. It's really striking to see the person that's the performer be standing still um, and have all of this like chaos happening around them. It it kind of makes them look more powerful in just their stature and just their stillness exudes power as opposed to them kind of showing off with their movement. Um, it just kind of exudes a different type of energy. But dynamically, choreographically, um, he's, you know, standing still, like I just said, but then immediately darts forward towards where the audience would be and here where the camera is. Um, and it's, it, like he he just was kind of like prowling and waiting for the moment then he immediately like darts forward the dynamic shift of that is really cool yeah really aggressive they got budget for this oh he's naked oh my god <laughs> he's naked uh, what does it say let me put my reading glasses on is it German? I think it's German. I don't speak German, <laughs> so I'm just gonna press play. Different sound for him than I was expecting. Again, choreography wise, he's kind of these moments where he's kind of standing up in the middle of this mass of bodies makes him um, like imagery wise, it makes him seem like he's standing out from everybody else, not only on stage, but in the world. It's that kind of message communicating that he's um, special in some sort of way. And you see how he kind of starts blending into this large mass of people. He's kind of hidden, but then he's the only one standing up straight. This line stands up with him, but then immediately ducks down, emphasizing his presence. Cool choreography stuff happening. <laughs> he's so smooth. This is an epic song, like just the proportion of the song is so large. Again, his stillness. But he has, he is a performer, has such a presence about him. He, even though he, um, like, I'm a BTS fan, I know this. I know he's, like, he's average height, but, um, People kind of clown him for being small. He's 
he is like on the smaller end of a male body but um and that's not to like make a joke but it's to point out that he is a smaller person um and he's able to fill up this space um i mean that's personally something i deal with in dance a lot i'm five foot one and a critique i get a lot is to fill up more space because for people like us um smaller people it's difficult to have as much presence in the space you just physically take up less room and so you kind of have to compensate for what like for the area that your limbs and your body can't reach you have to exude more performance and Jimin is really really great at that this choreography is so cool they're using their dancers so well to like create these tableaus again he's the one standing among all of these bodies standing out amongst them kind of like he's trapped amongst them set me free you know he's got to be set free oh ah beautiful gorgeous beautiful Fit change and the moons oh end of the song set me free he was <laughs> he was bound up um between all these bodies i mean this is what you can do with choreography when something is choreographed well you can send a message through just like physical bodies of course this um dance is like paired with a song that has words um so some of the meaning does come from the words but um dance is a language without words and communicating through the actual dance of this piece is that he was kind of confined within all of these bodies that were overtaking him yes he was standing out amongst them but he was constantly surrounded by them and then in the end it's communicated through his change in clothing um too it would be a little less obvious if he didn't change into um you know white tech generally white is seen as like a free color and um free of burden and black is kind of more constricted something is weighing down on you um but even without changing the clothing he was you know throughout the whole piece kind of being closed in around he was finally lifted up reaching towards the sky again generally going towards the sky is seen as like becoming free or like things things that are restricting you are falling away from you and as he's let down um all of the bodies that the entire time were surrounding him fall to the ground and are limp and no longer holding on to him and no longer um constricting him he's standing tall um amongst all of the um like everything that was holding him down so he has been set free i mean choreographically that's a story that was told without the people on stage ever actually speaking that story to you of course there's a song with words here but you know what i mean choreography is so powerful and and <sighs> He performs so well. Oh, <laughs> let's see. I doubt there's anything else at the end besides big hits little do do do. Not even? Let me just say, I mean, I'm an army. Uh, I was not expecting this sort of sound from him. Just, I feel like there's a conception about Jimin that, um, he tends to be like softer, more soft-spoken. And um, I was, you know, he is, what what is very admirable about Jimin is that he does blend the line between like traditional masculinity and traditional femininity. And I really think he, one of his strengths is that he doesn't subscribe to either. And that's something super, super cool. And he kind of, you know, as a male presenting person and uh, an assumedly male identifying person, he finds strength in femininity. 
and um, he kind of uses femininity to heighten his masculinity um, or his his sense of masculinity for himself and that's something super unique that we don't really see very very often um, especially in k-pop where there is kind of a strict binary about gender um but just so okay the sound of this piece i wasn't expecting because it was very like grand and um kind of went against the notion that i think army has kind of molded around jimin where you know he's softer he's um you know a little more delicate and those aren't bad things by any means um but i think what he produced um even being called set me free kind of breaking out of ideas about him and kind of putting forward something that i think a lot of us weren't expecting um really really cool um i mean he's an incredible performer i talked so much about choreography um so much that i don't even think i can remember all of it now but i'm gushing at this point um let me know what you guys thought of the song the music video um the choreography the dance everything in the comment section down below thank you guys so much for watching this video and i hope to see you guys in the next one bye bye